special kind of toy. Something a little different to everyone. Someone to cuddle up with on a rainy day. Someone who's there to share your happiest moments. Or to keep you company when things aren't going very well. Someone who always listens and never complains when you make a mistake. Did you know that there is one day each year when all the stars in the nighttime sky are just right that something magical happens? For that one day, children everywhere go without their teddies and never even notice. But on this one particular day, someone did notice. change that. But first we've got to get you down from there. It's okay, Ben. I can handle this myself. All I have to do is take these off. Wally, no! Whoa! Oh. Uh, sorry, Ben. Yeah, that's all right, Wally. I know you're a little excited. Heck, I remember my first time. I was so excited I could have run all the way. Well, when I think of it now, I wow. bet I have a hands for the bear that took me. You should have seen the look on his face. Ow! Wally, you're not listening to me. You know the teddy bear's first rule, don't you? Sure. The first rule to being a good teddy bear is... Always be a good listener. That's right. It's most important for teddy bears to be good listeners. I'm sorry, Ben. It won't happen again. I'll do enough listening to make any teddy bear proud. This is the first time I've ever had to take a younger bear with me, and I've got to make sure you arrive safely. Come on, let's go! Oops, it is. Oh, boy, my very first teddy bear's picnic! Yahoo! It's a pretty big world out there. Not like in the playroom. There'll be lots of things that you've never seen before. <clears throat> but we have to be careful that no one sees us. 
Oh, I'll be real careful then. You see, being a good teddy bear means you have to follow, well, certain rules. The paying attention is important, but so are all the others. And besides just knowing the rules, the teddy bear has to know when to use them. Uh-oh, here comes the milkman. Whoa. Quickly, Wally, the second rule to being a good teddy bear. The second rule to being a good teddy bear is... Never, ever let a people see you move. Right, Ben? <sighs> Wally, you've got to go teddy awfully fast when people pop up. I know, Ben. But why? Well, if they see us move, we won't be able to do our jobs. Oh, I guess that would be serious. Yes, very serious. Why? Why? Because no one would tell us their problems or cry on us when they felt bad. And who would share their secrets with us if they thought we'd spread them around? Now, Bear is at his best when he's sitting still, just listening. Okay, quickly. <laughs> Like him? He doesn't look like a teddy bear, but he sure seems to be a good listener. Yeah, I guess he's heard a few stories in his time. <laughs> hey, look at all the birds. Hi, all you birds. My name's Wally, and you know what? I'm going to the teddy bear's picnic. Wally, what's rule number three? Oh, that's easy. Never tell anyone about... Never tell anyone about the teddy bear's picnic. Sorry, Ben. Well, okay. But if we keep going at this rate, we'll never get to the picnic. Remember, we have to be back by nightfall. Uh, Ben, is it very far to the picnic? Yeah, well, kind of far. Are we going to walk all the way? Nope. I know a shortcut. A shortcut? Great! Oh, boy, a shortcut! What's a shortcut? This kid is a shortcut. Gee, a shortcut looks just like a piece of paper. Uh-oh, someone's coming. Wally, quick. Huh, what's this? Looks like some kid couldn't reach the mailbox. Oh, it's dark in here. Don't worry, old pal. I'm right here. But I like the dark. What's the picnic like? Will there be any bears my age? Yep. Bears from everywhere come to play games, tell stories, sing songs, or meet all the new bears. Like you. Wow. Look at all the flowers. Will there be any flowers at the picnic? There'll be everything a teddy bear could ever want at the picnic. Did I go teddy fast enough, Ben? You were fast, Wally. The fastest yet. Ugh. Now remember this spot. We've got to get back here before sunset. Otherwise, we'll never make it back in time. Ugh. Gee, Ben. I sure am glad you're showing me the way to the picnic. I'd never have found it on my own. Sure you would, Wally. Every teddy bear in the world can find the picnic. It's like a feeling you get. It practically pulls you to the picnic. Oh, yeah. I think I can feel it. Does it sort of make your head spin? No, it's just a feeling like opening your presents on your birthday. It sort of makes you all warm inside. Yeah, yeah. I can feel it. It's this way. It's real close! Yay! Oh dear. Oh, my God. 
Are you all right, Wally? I guess so. I just need a little more practice to get this feeling thing. That was scary. Ah, they're just a bunch of harmless farm animals, Wally. Nothing to be afraid of. Well, I didn't know. I'm just a kid. <laughs> hey, Ben. It's just a harmless old bullfrog. <laughs> okay. Enough fooling around. Let's get going. Why, when I was a young bear, all we could think about was the teddy bear's picnic. We just couldn't wait, and it just seemed like it never come. We'd ask, is it time yet? Ugh. Come on, Wally. Coming! Wally? Wally, if you don't stop dawdling, we'll never get there on time. Now let's keep moving. Whoa. Oh. 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 Huh? <laughs> A teddy bear? Oh, what are you doing here? Are you lost? Mm, you're nice. But you're not my teddy bear. Oh, oh, I wish I could find him. He's lost. And so am I. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do? I want my teddy bear. <laughs> what am I going to do, Mr. Bear? Oh, I've never been this far into the woods before. <laughs> Even if I do find Teddy, I'll never find my way back to the farm. Teddy bear. I want dog. <laughs> <clears throat> um, hi. <gasps> I'm Wally, and I know where your teddy bear is. You're alive. Oh. Oh, yeah, and so's Ben. He's just afraid to move right now because he's gone teddy. Gone teddy? Uh-huh. That's what a teddy bear usually does when a people is around. All teddy bears? Even mine? Yep. And you know where he is? Yeah, he's at the teddy bear's picnic. Wally, what are you doing? You're not supposed to tell anyone about the teddy bear's picnic. I thought we went over that. Oh, yeah. Rule number three. Yes, well, how do you do? I'm Benjamin Bear. Oh, Benjamin. I'm Amanda. Is it true? Is my bear really at a picnic? Yes, well, at a picnic no one is supposed to know about except bears. You don't have to worry, Amanda. He'll come home right after the picnic. He'll be there before bedtime. But I'm lost. Oh, yeah. Well, Amanda, you can come to the picnic with us, and we'll find him together. I can't? Hooray, hooray, hooray! We're going to the picnic! Hooray! Molly, wait a minute. She can't go. She can't? I can't? No, she can't. The picnic is only for bears. There have never been people there, ever. You know what would happen, Wally, if we took a people? I guess there would be a little less cake for some of us. It's not that, Wally. Think about it. Every single bear will freeze and go teddy if they see a... A people? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Take a people. Huh? Well, how do I look? She looks just like a teddy bear, doesn't she, Ben? Well, almost. There. Now she looks like a real teddy bear. Well, she sure doesn't look like a people. Let's go. The picnic is this way. I can feel it. Yeah, I've got a feeling, too. So what does your bear look like, Amanda? Well, he's kind of cute and cuddly, and he's got button eyes and a round little nose, and his name is Doc. Well, 
boy. Hey, I can feel it. The picnic's just up ahead. If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, you'd better go in disguise. For every bell that ever there was, we'll gather there for certain, because today's the day that teddy bears have their picnic. Picnic time for teddy bears. The little teddy bears are having a lovely time today. Benjamin. 
and all of you. I'm sorry I ruined your picnic. I didn't mean to, but I love my teddy bear, and I had to find him. You shouldn't stop the picnic just because I'm here. I promise I won't say a word to anyone. Well, there is one exception. <laughs> Thank you both very, very much. Heck, it was nothing. After all, what are bears for? Well, we'd better be going. Hmm, that was the best picnic I've ever been to. I'm sure glad Amanda found her bear. It was pretty scary there for a while. Oh, I knew everything would work out. I never doubted it for a minute. But Ben... Yes, Wally? Uh, thanks, Ben. Ah, that's okay. See you tomorrow at tea. <laughs> Come on, kids, off to bed. But, Dad, I can't find Wally. Well, where did you see him last? Yesterday. We had tea, so then I gave him a bath, and then I put him on the clothes like to dry. Well, he's probably still there. Dad, will you get him for me? All right, sweetheart. Mm -hmm.